Yo, what's up guys? I'm Sean from Scott Studios. So today I'm gonna show you guys how we created this animation loop. I'm not gonna create the whole scene. I'll show you guys the key principles I used in creating this loop. So make sure you guys subscribe and I also have other animation loops in my channel. So you guys can check them out as well. And with that said, let's get on with the tutorial. So I'm gonna select everything with A and delete with X. And I'm gonna add a plane with Shift A, add a plane. Go to top view with 7, tab into edit mode, control R, add a loop cut, and select those two vertices on the top and delete those two vertices. And uh, if you tab our edit mode, you guys can see the plane. So I'm going to use this as the ground plane, and this is where I'm going to create our scene on top of this. So I'm going back to top view and I'm going to move this one meter to in the y axis while pressing control so that it snaps into our grid and now you guys can see it has moved one meter in the grid all right so i'm gonna move this to a new collection and i'm gonna call it scene and now we are going to populate this scene with some cubes i'm just gonna show you guys the setup how we are gonna start setting up our scene so GY move everything over here GX don't worry the Y X axis and maybe we select everything GZ while pressing control select everything with A GZ while pressing control move it up so that it snaps into the grid as well GZ Right, so now if you scale, it scales from the origin point, from the bottom. So I'm gonna scale it down a bit. And Shift D, duplicate it. G, X, while pressing control, move it. And G, S, Z, scale it up. And Shift D, G, X, again. Scale it up. Shift D, duplicate it. G, uh, Z. And now duplicate all four D. And delete these to SC scale. This one scale up a little more. Shift D. G. Put this in the middle. And shift D G. Okay, so we have a few cubes here. Now we can duplicate a few more. And shift D. Shift D. We have a small scene set up. Alright. Okay, so this looks good. Now what I'm gonna do is move everything in to the new scene we created scene collection so select all the cubes and M new uh, scene collection just move to the new scene collection and what I'm gonna do is shift a create a new instance of the scene collection okay that's good and now I'm going to rotate that new collection R Z 90 degrees in the x-axis one to get grid view and I'm gonna move it uh one meter is too much 0 0.5 yeah 0 0.5 looks good but it's too far for us so what I'm gonna do is Select everything in the scene. Deselect our uh, instance and scale it up. So that it looks like it meets. Okay, that looks good. 
so I'm gonna delete the bottom plane now you won't be needing that just this reference now we can create our seamless, seamless loop so go to the front view and create a camera with control alt 0 you can place the camera G wide bring it in Right, so now with Shift A, create an empty, scale it up so that you can see it, and select the camera. And now select the empty, select the camera, and select the empty. Control P, set parent to object. Okay, and now add a keyframe in the first frame. I look at your rotation scale, make it 100. 20 frames go to the 120th frame 119 frames we go to the 120th frame and rotate it rz90 and i think the height was 0 0.5 so make the same make it the same height not the camera the mtv created so make it 0 0.5 as well and add a keyframe I look at rotation scale. So now if you play your animation, you have a seamless loop. So now it's just a matter of creating, filling the scene with more objects. And we can also add a plane in the background. So whatever you do, you, I'm going to hide the camera for now. So whatever you do, make sure you put it inside this collection so that it updates this scene as well. So what I'm going to do is add a background plane, shift A plane, RX 90, rotate it. So it's inside the scene. Yeah, it's inside the scene. So now remove it in the Y axis. Scale it up. Move it a bit. Scale it in the Z axis. And the X. So now. Want you can tab in a remote, select this and G X. Align it so it doesn't look weird, and we can also select these faces and three pull them down. G. So now it looks complete. So I'll show you guys how I set up one material. Go to the shading tab and shading, create a new material. And make sure you guys go to edit preferences and in add-ons enable no triangle add-on and uh, I'm going to add a bevel modifier to this one and make segments for right click shade smooth that looks good and now select the principal BSDF shader and control shift T and a new window will open and go to wherever you have your textures have this one this folder control select all these textures and the albedo the normal and the roughness principal texture setup uh, the node triangle add-on will automatically set up your material for you see the albedo map the roughness map and the normal map has been plugged into the respective shader and the uh, node and the texture coordinate node is also there so there's nothing for you guys to worry if you have the node triangle add-on everything is done for you so make so make sure you guys have these named roughness and the albedo albedo so if the names are right the, uh, the add-on will do the work for you so I feel like the UEs are a bit weird so I'm going to UV tab and tab in edit, edit mode with look the view tab in edit, edit mode select everything with 
A, no, select the object and tap in edit mode, select all these, scale them up so that it fits uh, squares. Now I'm going to rotate it, R, X, 90, and that looks good. Maybe the top square, I'm going to rotate that as well, R, X, 90. Okay, this looks cool. So that's how you set up the materials. You can download these textures from textures.com. So this is the final scene. I made uh, four instances, actually uh, three instances, and put one below and another one on top. And also I added some texts and some bevels. These are just bevels. And from the new steps preset, in Blender, I've shown you guys how to create these steps in one of my previous videos. You can check it out. You can check it out. And also, this is a circle I created and I painted this, uh, the Sophia into this. And it animates like that. If you guys want me to create a separate video for that, just let me know in the comments below. If I get more than 20 comments, I'll make a separate video for this. And also, you guys can download this file for free in my website. I'll leave a link in the description below. And you guys can download it there. And also, all these textures I've downloaded from textures.com. You guys can check, the, check it out as well. I'll leave a link in the description below. And yeah, guys, there's a lot of good stuff in the website. Uh, just have a look. And there are a few uh, paid projects as well. You guys can download them. They're not more than two dollars. So if you guys want to support, uh, support the, if you guys want to support the channel, you guys can uh, leave a donation or whatever. So yeah, and there's a lot of free stuff. So make sure you guys check it out. So if you guys make this tutorial, tag me on your work so I can see them maybe and leave some feedback as well. So follow me on Insta. I'll be posting more of my work there before I upload tutorials. And I have a lot of videos like this in my channel so you guys can check them out as well. And I'll be making three videos a week, mostly character modeling videos and animation loops like this. So on Mondays, make sure you guys catch those animation loops and the rest of the week I'll be posting uh, more character modeling videos. So if you guys want to learn how I created this sci-fi hallway scene, you guys can click here. And if you guys want to create more animation loops like this you guys can click playlist over here so thank you guys for watching this tutorial if you guys liked it leave a comment and subscribe to this channel so thank you guys see you in the next one peace